Tabata protocol. It's based on a 1996 study where there were two groups and it was done on a cycle ergometer. One group trained at 70% of their VO2 max four days a week for 30 minutes. I'm sorry, for five days a week for 30 minutes. The other group trained one day per week at 70% of their VO2 max for 30 minutes. In the other four days of the week, they trained for four minutes. And in that four minute block, they did 20 seconds of fast hard, hard intensity, as fast as they could go, rest for 10 seconds. And they repeated that eight times to equal four minutes. The four minute group increased their VO2 max to a greater degree than the 30 minute workout group. And they increased their anaerobic endurance or their anaerobic fitness whereas the other group doing 30 minutes did not increase their anaerobic fitness. So the Tabata protocol clearly showed that with four minutes you can get an incredible workout that's capable of increasing your VO2 max and your anaerobic threshold and your anaerobic fitness. So we're going to apply the Tabata protocol to our Muay Thai workout. The way you do that, right here is a picture of the Thai pads. You will throw five kicks on the right leg, five kicks on the left leg, five right, five left, and you'll continue that. And this is full speed, full out intensity. You do that for 20 seconds. You'll rest for one minute, I'm sorry, rest for 10 seconds. Then you repeat that for eight sets. Total time, four minutes. So doing this with the kicking is an amazing workout. Four minutes doesn't sound that hard, especially when you're only going 20 seconds at a time. But once you try it, you'll see it's extremely challenging. Now, another way you can do it is with the tie pads, you can throw a punching combination. Select a very basic combination, and you'll throw that combination full speed, full power for 20 seconds, and again, you rest for 10. And once we get the uh, tie pad workout going, you'll see an example of this in action. I have my assistant, Crystal, from fitnessmeathead.com help out with this portion. So for the kicks, I'm going to throw a right kick. My front foot, my support leg, is going to rotate counterclockwise on the ball of my foot. Back leg swings around almost like a baseball bat. So with the hands high, swing that in, hitting with the shin bone. Now, this movement, lead with the hip. That hip flexor, you put a pre-stretch on it, that elastic energy helps accelerate the leg up to kick the pad. So, lead with the hip, up on the ball of my foot, back to recovery. Now, in Muay Thai, some trainers teach to swing the right arm down. I prefer to keep my hand up, because I don't like to get punched in the face. So I'll keep that as a defense. So, right kick. Then you have your switch kick. Switch kick is merely a kick thrown with the left leg, but you switch positions. So, you switch your feet, kick, step back. There's four counts of this movement. It's one, two, three, four. My feet are always shoulder width apart in this. So again, Notice the pivot. While the foot, this foot really turns, gets a lot of rotation.